Hey gamers, Tony here from the ClassicLeak.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast, and I'm bringing you episode one of our playthrough of Dragon's Crown. And I'm very excited Atlas sent this over to us to review uh, for Classic Lee and G2PO. So we had it a little bit early before release date, and I believe uh, the 31st of July is when we can uh, start releasing these videos, so that's when I'll start putting them out. Um, but I have to, I have a cool, kind of a cool backstory with this game. I hadn't heard of it before E3. Um, it's probably my own fault, um, but we're going to go ahead and select a player first. So I am recording all this footage today uh, with the Hippolyte HD PVR2, um, and I'm pretty excited about that. So look at this beautiful, beautiful art style. This is on the PlayStation 3 and the Vita exclusively. And so, all right, so we have a fighter, we have an Amazon, and I really love how this does that. It tells you what kind of players it's recommended for, um, and so that kind of thing. We have the... Um, Elf. Who else do we have here? The dwarf. The sorceress, who looks awesome but looks hard to play with. And the wizard. So we got expert players recommended for all. Recommended for normal players. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the uh, the old fighter here. Let's see. Aaron. Whatever. I'll leave Aaron his name. Let's do a message. Do we need a message? I don't really care about the messages, so we're just going to go ahead and go on. But anyways, I hadn't heard of Dragon's Crown from Atlas here um, at uh, before E3, and they had a really cool booth at E3, and I remember walking by, and then I walked by again, and walked by again, and I just kept noticing this game, and the art style, and the graphics drew me to this game, and I was like, what in the world? So I finally stopped, and the guy who helped me there was just absolutely amazing. He walked me through the game, walked me through the... Telling me about the creator who did the, um, you know, the art style and all that stuff, and I just got sucked into the planet for like an hour. It was amazing, and so um, I decided when I get the review copy of this game, I've had my eye on it ever since. Um, I was simply going to just kind of do a playthrough of the game because I believe a game like this you need to make your own decision on, but uh, we're going to be given the kind of coverage that it deserves here um, because it's absolutely, I mean, it's a beautiful game. So. Here's the tutorial. We did the character selection and we'll do the tutorial on this first video here. There's our jump. Looks like we can do a dash. Alright, that's pretty awesome. And then we can evade with R1. So, I'm going to have to remember some of these controls. If you haven't taken the chance yet, go ahead and like and favorite this video. Subscribe to us as well. And I uh, hope you enjoy some Classic Elite videos here. And G2PO.com is amazing as well. You need to check that out. Absolutely astonishing. Oh, wow. Really cool. Combining some of the attack moves here. Hey, did I mention how awesome this art style is? <laughs> it's just beautiful. Beautiful game. Kind of a combination of an RPG. Alright, so we strike up in the air. Boom. Hey, I just did that. It's not counting it. Boom. That's pretty awesome. For some reason, let's see here. Up oh, in that. That's what I'm doing. And we seem to have a little bit of an air here. Alright, so press square. And then press up. Okay, I just did that. Why isn't it counting? Oh, great. And I just did this on the Vita version today, and it was working just absolutely fine, so that'd be hilarious if I got a. If I can't seem to get this to work. But hey, as you've seen in my other videos, I don't block out the crappy stuff on my channel. I keep it going. And so, all right, so obviously I just wasn't pressing something right. But we got the aerial attack to work. And so, now we got the guard to work. Now we're going to do a little power smash action. And that is outstanding. Now you see the sword went into the ground there. And so it changes things up a little bit. It says with the power smash can only be used when you have a weapon, and a weapon that you have stabbed into the ground, it cannot be used until the X over it has emptied. So 
you can see there's going to be lots of RPG strategy elements in this game as well. So, we're going to try to get a crossbow. Oops. That crossbow is badass. It really is. This game looks outstanding on Vita as well. Um, same game. Let's go select the healing potion, press down to use it. Got it. I'm playing with the uh, Sorceress on the, the Vita version as well, and I, I'll probably show you some footage of that at some point. But right now we're just walking through the tutorial, so some really great attacks to mix things up. Like there's obviously four characters you can play through the game with. And then there's even an online multiplayer mode which unlocks. Um, pretty amazing. So uh, when you pick up fruit, things like fruit to heal, I don't know if you read that there, but you actually have to stand still. Another strategic thing, you stand still and um, Shall I open then the, the character eats the fruit. So. Granny inquired. After appearing from out of nowhere. If you're interested in recording your gameplay footage like this and want to pick up the Pog HD PPR2, you can actually pick it up on Amazon by clicking on the link in the description below. Just letting you know. And then I'll also have the link to pick up uh, Dragon's Crown as well on Amazon. I have loved playing this game the past week. I've been playing it on the Vita. So there's a little cursor when you use the right analog stick, and uh, this little traveling person here is your companion. And you actually just click L1 over the door, and he actually will go and open it. He also opens treasure chests and things like that as well. So, pretty fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and see when I uh, move the right right stick here. Randy the Rogue is uh, actually that little character's name. He can actually open up treasure chests as well. So pretty awesome. Oh yes. So if you've never played Atlas games, they do some pretty amazing games. Um, they've done it over the years, so... Oh wow, my first boss. An overgrown ogre. Take him out, I'm not even going to give him a chance to mess around. Love the combination attacks you can do, I can't wait to learn everything about uh, doing that in this game. So, Like I said, I've been playing through the beta version uh, for review. And I'm just now getting uh, to the PS3 version. I wanted to play that with uh, all of you watching. So that ends the basic tutorial. Uh, we're going to go a little bit further here and uh, show you some more of the story. So here's uh, we're back at Dragon Haven's Inn. And uh, Rainy the Rogue is telling us a little bit uh, about the relationship that we have here with him. Uh, basically, we handle combat. He handles uh, locks, picks, things like that. We collect treasure together, doing pretty well. Um, and now I'm going to show you a little bit of the navigation of the game here, so. This will kind of end the tutorial portion and then we'll go into actually playing uh, level by level um, throughout different videos, so. You came to Thank you all for your support, by the way. We always get lots like of great comments, and uh, you strove to challenge the dangerous we like to respond to as many as we can. So this is, it's all its all like a 2D world, um, but obviously there's 3D styles of backdrops, as you see. Everything is really layered. It's hand-drawn. I cannot tell you how beautiful this is enough. I mean, it's amazing. So we need to go to a guild. And so this is kind of how the map lays out here, and then you can press up here on the Adventurers Guild and we'll go in there. And then we meet some other characters who are also hand-drawn and absolutely amazing. So this is the uh, Guildmaster Samuel Joseph. I'm not worthy to be in a guild right now. We need to go repair armor first. Obviously you have to repair armor before you can be in a guild, dumbass. To be deemed worthy by the Adventurers Guild you must first repair your broken equipment. And now we're at the magic shop. Morgan's magic shop. And Morgan doesn't like clothes like a lot of people in this Morgan world. Lisley, shopkeeper and witch welcomes you. There is no objects repair which So we're gonna repair our equipment. Obviously this is more the tutorial setting us up for how we kinda of progress through the game, repair equipment, things like that. So 
The six in the short sword, definitely. I think that's all we need to do right now. Adventurers come here not only for repairs, but for appraisals and to purchase magic items. You will visit Morgan. Looks like Morgan will be someone that we'll be seeing more often. Cool, Your so we just click the player. Unmarred. Go into you our should equipment. return to the guild awesome. and see if the guildmaster. Kind of like having a little mouse uh, cursor, if 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 possible. So, I mean, I, I not if possible. I I really do like having the mouse cursor because it gives us some cool options for some different kinds of gameplay that we don't see in other places. So. Don't really have anything at this point. Aaron's a pretty weak warrior, but at least his equipment is unmarred. So we're going back to the Adventurers Guild. Once again. So far, though, from what I've played on the Vita version and this version, highly recommend uh, Dragon's Crown. Yes, it's it's very very good. So. Samuel Joe says back, and now we have to test our skills, and so we're going to accept eagerly the early entrance exam, so, see, we need to help Roland in the ancient temple ruins, and we're going to accept that, and go to the gate, so... That's going to end it for the first video. I just wanted to show you the different characters, and we're going to play through this with Aaron the Warrior here. Uh, some of the different characters in Dragon's Crown from Atlas. Like I said, you can pick this game up by clicking on the link in the description below. Hope you'll subscribe, watch all of our videos, and we'll be back as we go help to rescue Roland from wherever the hell he got himself in trouble at. So, this is Tony signing off. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. Check out GG2PO and Classically Podcast. Hope you have a good day.